I know for, for Daniel, Emma and Rupert on that last day, I think the official last day was 22nd of June this year, that they had a good week, but I don't know whether you guys were too tough for such things, whether you allowed yourself a moment of uh, sobbing. Just I was to definitely too manly for that, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> really? No, maybe you just went somewhere nobody could see I you. just went out somewhere on my own, had a little quiet <laughs> I moment. I heard you sobbing in your dressing room. <laughs> that was over with something else entirely. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, for you, Ivana, to that sense, because this is such um, a fairy tale. Yeah, I, I did cry. I kind of was like... Oh, this is silly. Everyone talking about the end, and it's going to be a big anticlimax, and and no one's going to feel it. And I thought that, you know, that it will only be. But then it was uh, when I was leaving. I said, went to say goodbye to the producers, and you know, I'd written them cards and stuff just to say thanks. And and it was like, oh my god, and because they 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 were nice, and they were people who made me feel very at home. And and like I met them the first day I went in, and it just all came out then. And and I I, I don't know. I don't. I, like yeah leaving sort of like leaving the nest that harry potter was something so secure and always there and um yeah and i'm glad i'm glad i did cry then and, and, and kind of shared it with people who who understood because otherwise you'd feel really lonely a few months down the line unemployed not doing anything and you're like oh, i want harry potter back you know if you don't want to cry now maybe you'd get out of your system a little bit after that yeah, yeah that's <laughs> <going on. laughs> i was thinking too that that when it comes to um you know this this sort of operation where you've been together for for such a long time it feels like a surrogate family especially during these years of, of you know developing years and all that but then on the other hand it must feel like school's out like it must feel like you've been in at, at, at this college this for for how many ever many years for 10 years for six seven years i don't know whether that that sort of you know there is a part of it sort of a relief that uh, all that work and all that you know concentration i can now just not think about it that's definitely definitely you know i felt the exact same way when i left school as when i left um harry potter it was like uh yeah, it was sad because you weren't going to see everyone every day, um, but you knew that you'd still see them around. You know, it's not like we're all going to different ends of the earth. We all still live, you know, relatively close. You know, and we'll see each other. Um, and also, yeah, just like you said, I've, all this work that we've put in for the last ten years, you know, it's um, we, we've we've made it out the other side. We've we've made eight films that that I'm you know proud of, and uh, and yeah, it's just been it's just it's quite. An, I don't want to say relief because that sounds like I've not enjoyed it. I just want to. It's just. Um, it's just I just feel very um, very proud about the whole experience and very honoured to have been a part of it. That would have been a good time to cry, by the way. Yeah, just yeah. then. Yeah. We got the Oscar for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there is that you mentioned about staying in touch, and I know for Lord of the Rings because they'd had a, only a third of the time that you guys have had it, but that they got tattoos, the Elvish we were nine. We're going to. I know. Tom, See, I, I read about some interview, it, yeah. but I never heard about it. Well, Our tattoo thing. We were all going to get either a Horcrux or the Deathly Hallows, and then all the girls start checking out. They're like, "Oh, I'll get a white one on my foot." So we're like, "That's a that's." No use, you know. I have to get one that Nobody told shows me that. there. Would you so get you're, one? You're basically got, a pack of whips. That no, sounds, sounds like you're all probably. <laughs> no, no, of the film, we want one, yeah, like that. Everyone has, <laughs> and Maybe. we had it for longer than them, so we should, but. I don't know if there is a possible a possibility of, of, of an abiding memory because this this will become such a big part of your life for the rest of your life and hopefully you'll want to do other amazing things and have a wonderful time with those but there will always be this part of your life that a lot of people will remember and I don't know if there's a sort of notion of this is you know this is when I think of this time of my life this is the memory I'll have or, or you know if there's certain parts of it that really stick in the head in, in regard to its uh, its impact on you. It's a sort of tough thinking of, you know I've done it for 10 years it's sort of tough thinking of, of one but the one that I sort of that immediately sprung to mind was just the, the first week at, uh, that I was at work, you know, because it was um, eleven years old. I was tiny, and and it was the it was up in Northumberland at Annick Castle, and it was the uh, the broomstick lesson, um, and it was quite big for Neville because Neville took off on the broomstick and crashed into the walls and stuff. And at eleven years old, I was absolutely terrified, you know, having no idea what to expect. But the crew were brilliant. The director, Chris Columbus, was. You know, really great at putting me at ease, and um, I had a really fun week. You know, just being 11 years old, dressing up in in a costume and flying around on a broomstick. It was wicked, you know. I was thinking for you, Ivan, there have been so many kind of fairy tale moments. You'd almost make Cinderella jealous, just the way <laughs> writing to to J.K. and then getting a response and then getting the auditions. And so it must have, I'm sure it must be just one long, big abiding memory. That yeah, just so it, much of it. It, it. It's ridiculous. Like after that, I'm like. Oh, you know, I've, I've done the the biggest thing I wanted. What are I doing? <laughs> I feel a bit adrift, but um, but it's been it's been great in that sense. The first few 
months and the first film like perhaps it was all like ooh look at all this and and it was me as a fan looking in and being so excited but then after that it kind of switched to being a feeling I belonged there and 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 really enjoying it and enjoying the people and and the friends there um so yeah I I I got the most out of it I wonder has term and feckin quietened down now because I know it's only a population <laughs> of 2345 at the last count and wow you counted I know it took me that a while a because I thought I counted one person <laughs> twice but I I reckon they just changed their hats or something <laughs> but that notion of, of you know somebody from that little town is, is suddenly in this the biggest movie franchise in the world I would imagine initially there was parades and, and all sorts of madness but I don't know if it's settled down to being <laughs> it's normal everyday life for you now or whether it still feels the odd person will register well I think we got a new sign a while ago and I felt I felt Great, it's got to their heads. Yeah, it's got to their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Karen Fekin. <laughs> no, it's it's very. Arthur uh, Matthews it, is from there. The guy who co-wrote Father Ted. He's he's he? also from that little small Father town. Ted. So you've got two famous yeah, people in the world. Can we just talk about that. He was making me laugh in interviews with quotes, but, but, the, but the, no, it's 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 always going to be small. And who the, wants to live in a, a place with a, a curse in the name? You know, who's going to live there? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. I got to wrap up very very quickly. Daniel joked the fact that he said maybe in thirty years' time, who knows? We'll all come back as teachers in some sort of remake I'm guessing you guys will be up for that in 30 years time yeah, yeah you could be the professors and I've got no money left <laughs> 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 I'm just starting contracts today I'm going to shoot yeah. myself in my garden so once you're on board I think we'll get the money cool, till then yeah. we'll live off sign photos yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. rock and roll thanks nice to talk to you guys thank you